In this video, we're going to cover Atari 7800 emulation on the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch. Ah, oh, the Atari 7800, the system that just didn't quite do as well as it could have, but has some fun games to play. The system has always been fascinating to me, especially since it was backwards compatible with Atari 2600 cartridges. But of course, in the here and now, playing an Atari 7800 on modern displays can be a bit problematic. So I'm glad that we are able to emulate them so easily on a number of systems, including the Xbox Series X and S. And that's what we're covering today, so let's dive in. To get started with emulating Atari 7800 games on the Xbox Series X and S, you need to install RetroArch, so refer back to my How to Install RetroArch video on how to get that set up and running. Next, the only thing that is required of us to get Atari 7800 games up and running on our system is Atari 7800 games. If you have a physical collection, you are able to dump these, or you can resort to the shady part of the net to get them. But as always, no download links will be provided on this channel, so don't ask, they will be deleted. Da -da 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 -da. Once you have your Atari 7800 games sourced, you need to decide if you want to put them onto your Xbox's internal SSD or run them from USB. For my intents and purposes, I'm just going to copy them over to USB. But once you have your Atari 7800 games placed, go ahead and close out of everything on your computer. Take your USB flash drive or hard drive out of your computer and put it into your Xbox if you're using one. Now over on your Xbox, go ahead and get booted into RetroArch after you have your USB drive in place. And once RetroArch is finished booting, we're free to begin loading up Atari 7800 content. And one method of doing so is to go to load content, navigate to your USB drive if you have your games on USB, Atari 7800 folder, choose a game and it should start up. Or if you have them on the internal SSD, go to S, Program Files, Windows Apps, RetroArch folder, Games folder, find your Atari 7800 games folder, choose a game and it should run. Now, personally, I don't care for this method, so what I like to do instead is make a games playlist, and my preferred method of doing that is to go to import content and do a manual scan. From here, you will choose your content directory. Again, if you have your games on the internal SSD, they'll be under S, and if you have them on USB like I do, they'll be under E. So I'm just going to choose my Atari 7800 games folder, tell it to scan this directory. Next, system name, just scroll down to Atari 7800. Next, default core, scroll down to Atari and find Pro System, Atari 7800 Pro System. Make sure scan recursively is set to on if you have your games separated into subfolders, and then you can turn on scan inside archives if you have your game zipped. But once you have the options set, go ahead and start the scan. And once it's finished, you'll have a new Atari 7800 playlist entry here on the left. And then to play a game, all you need to do is go over to it, press A, and tell it to run. And there we go, Atari 7800 games up and running on the Xbox Series X and S. And then to start a game, you just press A. But yep, Atari 7800, very straightforward system to get set up, and again, has a lot of fun games. Might not have the most games, but I mean, they're enjoyable. It's fun to see these versions of these games, in my opinion. So for those of you looking to get Atari 7800 set up on your Xbox, that is the process. But from here on out, let's go ahead and talk about some of the advanced core options available to us within Pro System. So going into our RetroArch quick menu, we could scroll down to options, and our first option is color depth. It starts at 16 by default, but we could change this up to 24 bit for better color quality. It does require a content restart, so you will need to close out of the game you are using and relaunch it for the change to take effect. Next up, audio filter. This uses a low pass filter to reduce harsh sounds from the uh, Atari 7800 emulation. I like having this one on but that's just a personal preference, so go ahead and try it with it on, try it with it off, see what you think. And then you have the audio filtering level, it's set to 60% by default, I think that works pretty good. But if you want to strengthen the effect, you can increase it, or if you want to lower it, you can do so here. And next up we have a dual stick controller, and this is to give you twin stick shooter capabilities on your Xbox controller. So if you play games like Robotron 2084, turn this option on. Otherwise you could just leave it off. And that does it as far as core options within Pro System are concerned. If you have any settings that you want to save for certain games but not others, you can go to Manage Core Options and save a game options file here. And that's going to do it for Atari 7800 emulation on the Xbox Series X and S. Again, a very straightforward core. Just get your games, load them up on USB, load them up in RetroArch, and begin playing. Freaking love it. As always, if you happen to have any questions about getting this system set up, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to help you out. But now if you could all do me just the hugest of favors, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos just like this go live on the channel. Lots of updates still to come, 
and things are always updating. And it also helps us keep the momentum of the place going, and we're so thankful to all of you for that. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or click on the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping us going and bringing more updates to you as they come. Big shout out to all of our champions who are just so freaking amazing. Rockstars you. Thank you all so much for believing what we do and all of your support. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome and we'll see you back next video.